Team coverage on the war in Ukraine continues with Catholic leaders speaking out about the church's response to the humanitarian crisis. CBS's Natalie Dudridge has more from St. Patrick's Cathedral. This is something that requires the entire world's solidarity. The Archbishop of Philadelphia for Ukrainian Catholics was born in New York, but as the son of Ukrainian immigrants, he says his heart is heavy witnessing the horrific images coming out of his parents' homeland. There's 12 million people that are still in their homes, but they cannot survive without aid. By the end of this weekend, there will be 25 million people in Ukraine that are helpless or outside of Ukraine. Cardinal Dolan says he called this gathering of religious leaders to keep the focus on hope and ramp up efforts to assist refugees and those displaced by the Russian invasion. The Catholic Church estimates all of the diocese combined have contributed more than $50 million in aid. There's a real unity in relief in getting the people of Ukraine the supplies and the, uh, the, uh, just the relief that they need in a time of suffering. We continue with partners on the ground to try to bring financial help where we can in Ukraine. We are also working in the neighboring countries. We are working in Hungary. We are working in Slovakia. Religious leaders spoke in front of this new display, a Ukrainian cross and flag placed inside St. Patrick's Cathedral, which has traveled around the world for two decades and serves as a source of hope. Tomorrow, Pope Francis will lead a global prayer for peace in Ukraine. At St. Patrick's Cathedral, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. And tomorrow, Pope Francis will lead a global prayer for peace in Ukraine.